You're going to learn how to create the three easiest and most visually appealing text animations in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Fade up text. First, we right click in the media pool and select new fusion composition. Then we click create and drag it to the timeline right at the beginning. With the playhead positioned over the composition, we open the Fusion page. The first thing we're going to do in Fusion is add a background node. This is only necessary if we want the text to have a black or colored background and connect it to the yellow input of the Media Out 1 node. Perfect. If you want a transparent background instead, just don't add this node. Next, we'll add the text. With the background node selected, we go to the toolbar and click on the Text Plus icon. As soon as we add the text, you'll see it automatically connects through a merge node. I'm going to rearrange the nodes a bit so everything looks clearer. With the text plus node selected, we go to the inspector and type the word we want. In my case, I'm going to write animation. I'm going to use the Montserrat font in black style, which works really well for this type of animation. But feel free to choose any font that fits your style. We'll also increase the size a little so it looks better. All right. Now let's start animating the text. We right-click on the text box and select the option Follower. As soon as we do that, the Modifiers tab becomes active. We go into the Modifiers menu and open the Shading tab. This is where we'll find the parameters we need to animate. We're going to work with Opacity and Position, specifically the Offset X and Y values. We move the playhead to frame 15, and add keyframes for opacity and offset X and offset Y. When we do this, a new tab called Path 1 will open, but we don't need it. Just double click on Follower to return to the previous panel. Now we move to the start of the animation at frame 0. We lower the offset Y value so the text starts from below. You can simply type negative 0.3. We also reduce the opacity to zero, so it starts completely transparent. And with that, we already have a basic animation. Now let's keep improving it to make it look much smoother and more professional. If we play it now, we'll see that all the letters appear at the same time. So how do we make them appear one by one? Super easy. We open the timing tab and increase the delay value to two. And that's it. Now, as you can see, the text appears letter by letter, just like we wanted. To make the animation even smoother and more natural, we're going to add some speed ramps. We open the Spline tab in the top right corner. We check the text box and click Zoom to Fit to see all the keyframes we've created. Perfect. We select all the keyframes, right-click on the graph, and go to the Ease menu. Here we can choose between out cubic and in out cubic. Personally, I prefer out cubic. It makes the animation start fast and finish smooth, but you can try both and go with the one that fits your style best. We apply the speed curve, and as you can see, the animation already looks much smoother. Now we can close the spline panel. And finally, we add the secret ingredient. With the text node selected, we go to the inspector, Open the Tools menu and go to the Settings tab. Here we can add Motion Blur to give the animation a more polished look, and raise the quality to the maximum, 10. And that's it. Now we have a clean, smooth, professional-looking animation that you can use in any video. Let's move on to the second text animation, Scatter. We select the text node, go to the text box, right-click, and add the Follower modifier. Then we open the Modifiers tab, and this time, go into the Transform menu. The setting we're interested in here is Spacing, which allows us to pull the letters together or spread them apart. Let's animate it. As always, we place the playhead at frame 15 and add a keyframe for spacing. Then we go to frame 0 and reduce the spacing value until all the characters overlap at the center. A value around 0.6 usually works well. If we play the animation, we'll see the text scatter from that central point, exactly the effect we want. Perfect. We finished in the transform menu. So now let's continue in the shading tab. We're going to animate the opacity of the text. We place the playhead at frame 15 and add a keyframe. 
Then at frame zero, we lower the opacity to zero. That gives us a smooth fade in effect that combines nicely with the scatter. To make the letters animate one by one, we open the timing tab and set the delay value to two. Now we've got a progressive left to right animation with the scatter effect included. And as always, the final step is to smooth the animation and apply motion blur. We open the spline tab, select the text node, zoom in to see the keyframes, select all of them, and apply out cubic smoothing. Go to settings, enable motion blur, and increase the quality to 10. A very eye-catching animation, perfect for highlighting keywords or creating impactful titles. Time for our third animation, Scale Up. We're already in Fusion, with our custom text and background node ready, just like we did earlier. Let's start building the animation. We select the text node, right-click on the text box, and add the follower modifier. This activates the Modifiers tab, so we can open it and go into the Shading menu. To create this animation, we're going to work with the Opacity setting and also the Size, which is located at the bottom of the list. We place the playhead at frame 15 and set keyframes for both Size X and Size Y. We also add another keyframe for Opacity. Next, we move to frame 0 and lower all values to the minimum. Size X to zero, size Y to zero, and opacity to zero. Perfect. Let's play it back and see how it looks. At the moment, all the letters scale in at the same time. To make it more dynamic, we're going to add a bit of delay so the letters appear one after another. We go back to the timing tab and increase the delay value to two. As you can see, the steps are very similar to the previous animation, so you probably know what's next. Let's smooth the animation by adding speed ramps. We open the Spline tab, select the text node, and click on Zoom to Fit. Now we select all the keyframes, right-click on the graph, and under Ease, choose Out Cubic. Perfect. Much better. To finish, we close the Spline Editor, go to the Tools tab, open the Settings menu and enable Motion Blur, increasing the quality to 10. And just like that, we've completed our Scale Up animation. Clean, dynamic, and super effective. And if you want to reuse these animations in any project without recreating them from scratch, in this other video, I'll show you how to save them as a preset in DaVinci Resolve. See you there.